Exfoliants for somebody who's never used one are really gonna reveal dramatic results. Because of sun damage and years of wear and tear on our skin, there's a lot of built up dead layers of skin cells going on. Ideally, if you have dry, sun damaged skin, AHA is gonna be your best bet. That's really gonna help reveal that radiant skin that's underneath the built up sun damaged layers. And it also has some water binding properties, so you're getting a little bit of moisture back to your skin as well. If you have more of the oily or combination skin, or if you're prone to breakouts, BHA is absolutely the way to go. It can actually reshape the pore lining. So if you have enlarged pores, That's true. over time it can help shrink those pores Get down to what your natural pore size is. Yeah. A lot of people uh, don't know that salicylic acid actually is derived from aspirin. So you really get that anti-inflammatory and skin soothing anti-irritant benefit. It really comes down to preference in terms of texture. If you prefer liquids or gels or lotion, and then the strength. We have 1%, 2% for right. the salicylic acid, and then an 8% of the alpha hydroxy acid, which is glycolic. Something that some customers might get confused about is, why do you have an 8% AHA gel and then only a 2% BHA? Well, AHA and BHA, they're different in the concentrations that you use them to be effective. So 2% is quite effective for salicylic acid. And for AHAs, 8% is a really good percentage mm -hmm. to go with. I think these exfoliants are actually the most dramatic way you can change your skin overnight.